Good morning from Colorado Custom Coachworks. You see that behind me? Nope, that's not plywood. That's $700. Today, we are working on the little walls for the uh, insulation. We got Steampunk Steve, we got Justin with the Mojo Bus. Check him out on Instagram. I think he's gonna start uploading soon on YouTube. But uh, we're gonna cover these walls. I'm gonna let the experts do their thing with the cabinets. Uh, me and Renee are, yeah, we're gonna cover all the walls. And then we're gonna start working on the ceiling. And uh, if you notice, we have a chalk line right there. We're gonna start with the center beam because I want the lights centered. And I don't know any other way to do that except start with the center, unless we cut pieces and then went, you know, and figured out what, where to start on the wall. Anyways, you know what I'm saying. So we got a lot of work to do. Uh, it is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. The weather in Colorado is finally cooling down. Um, what else? Uh, since I've actually got here, there's Chris, by the way, one of the awesome owners. Since I've gotten here, it was really hot the first month. It's finally cooling down a little bit, and uh, we're picking up steam here. I got about uh, 40 days left in the shop, so we're hoping to complete everything before then. You're gonna have to tuck this back uh, a little bit. Yes, we will. So these little blue things are where the lights go. I think I mentioned that in yesterday's video. And thank God for Steve. Thank you, Steve. No problem. That's why I'm here. Uh, so we were gonna start with the middle one. To, you know, to center it and everything, but we realize like we're that's the first one we're gonna have to cut, and also we're gonna have to start wiring these lights in. I've never done this before, so I'm extremely grateful for Steve and Justin and Renee. Well, of course the guys here too, if uh, if I have a question, but this it gets a little tricky because once you put the wood up on the ceiling, you can't go back and wire it, especially when you have spray foam. Um, so we need to figure out the wiring first. We also need to figure out the Solar combiner box. It'll probably be bolted here, rather screwed in. And then the panel starts here, but then we'll drill in over there. So we'll have on the roof like a wire going across and then down. That way we don't have to go through this. In a perfect world, I would have already had this thing wired, but since this is only my second bus and I'm still learning, there's a lot of things to uh, learn, right? Tra uh, learn, learn by doing. Uh, so anyways, it comes down, we're just gonna run it down to here and then just drop the whole bundle on the side. And then we'll make a little wire chase in the middle of this and run it all the way down. So, anyways, you can't get too far ahead of yourself on these things because it's really easy to mess up. Just like when you have a skylight and then you start putting a deck over it. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta plan for things in advance. And when you don't know, this is a good saying that I like to say is you never know what you don't know, right? Like you would never know to do things in advance if you haven't done it before and haven't learned about it. So uh, for all you guys out there making mistakes, you know, you'll learn as you go. First year. <laughs> We're, uh, I always make Justin a joke. For, for all the, the lady viewers out there, uh, I didn't want to be the one cutting only. Yeah, that goes over there. That's not a good idea. And then, uh, of course, I didn't want her to do all the cutting because either way, someone's going to say, well, you're not doing anything. Or, you know, why don't you let the girl, you know, cut too? So this way, everybody gets a little piece of the action. So without further ado, let her rip. You don't know what you're doing? Oh, here, That's let me go I first. Said, just... So just line the blade up. Uh, his, uh, usually you, you line this up with this, but he has a, a, a thinner um, blade. So just line that, um, the blade up with the and pencil mark. Hold. And then, yeah, and then hang on to the uh, thing and try not to cut yourself, basically.
go. High five. Sidewalls in, and it's funny. Uh, Garrett from uh, AM Solar saw my uh, Instagram story. I've been trying to post more Instagram stories, even though the videos are off uh, in time. But uh, he's like, "I hope you're planning on running wires before you put the walls up." And I was like, "Ha ha! Well, check this out. We got like a gap of three inches there, so we can just run all the wires and fun stuff down that thing. Maybe drill a hole in that uh, little box thing, go up and over and through." That way I just feel like it might be easier if some accident happens or, I don't know, you need to fix something or add something to, you know, grab wires out of somewhere and add, you know, run another wire. It would be a lot easier than <laughs> taking everything out of the bus, deconstructing, the, for instance, the back bed area, pulling the wall off, getting into there, pull, you know, going up. You understand. So this is what we're working with. We're going to, going to lunch right now. Also, the Chinese store that I've been uh, religiously ordering from for the past week and been bugging them for their free oil. Well, guess who called me today? Hmm? 15 gallons for free. So uh, we're gonna go pick some of that stuff up, have lunch, and we'll be back at it. Next day, you guys are ironing on wood. You, you guys ever heard of this, ironing on wood before? Something kind of interesting. I have. I know you have, because you do this stuff. I have, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so they're putting the side on the uh, plywood here to make it look like one cohesive whole piece of wood. So you don't see this stuff. And yes, it says YouTube. Basically, we're making them pretty. Yes. All right, so uh, we didn't really get too far beyond the walls yesterday. We had to go back to the store. Get some stuff, but I think we're gonna work on the front cap, speaker, speaker. I should probably get them out of the box. We gotta run a wire from the solar, get that down into the wire channel part. And I think if I could do that, it's already uh, a little bit late in the day. Well, later in the day, we went for a little art walk, graffiti art walk. But uh, I think if we could do that, that would be a good accomplishment. I'm running on fumes today. All right, we got Steve priming, and uh, we got Justin putting on this uh, end part right there. We can turn that down because it's copyrighted. Nobody likes a copyright. Uh, I'll just keep talking over the music. <laughs> but yeah, he's putting this uh, ironing on the end piece and then sanding that down to make it look like, you know, one piece of wood. Now, uh, these guys are Mojo Bus, by the way. This is what we're doing to try and get the curvature of the roof. I stuck the, uh, the pl uh, cardboard up there first and I was like, you know what's more flexible than cardboard? Paper. So, we just folded this in half. We're going to kind of average out the, uh, the bumps and curves in this thing. And uh, we'll try to get the cardboard as snug as possible before cutting into the wood because I'd rather mess up on cardboard than I would wood. I don't know. So thanks, Renee, for helping me. 